Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a tour of Sam's Island and her island is kind of like a touristy cottagecore forest core island mix and she did mention that her island isn't 100% done so I might be cutting out some of the parts that aren't finished. So let's get to the video. Okay, let's take a look at her map. So her name is Sam and her island's name is Serenity and her villager lineup looks pretty good as well as having a second resident named Geo. So she's got Hazel, Molly, Tangy, Bia, Lily, Norma, Marshall, Shep, Sherb, and Dom and then two residents. Um, I love the way her island looks. It's like kind of, it, the terraforming kind of doesn't look very forced and that's what I like, like about it. And I kind of see how like the shops are kind of spread out. Like some people have shopping districts and then her rivers are like kind of um, square, which is like interesting to me. So let's start right where the entrance is. So this entrance looks so pretty. I love the little custom designs on the pathways. So you got little mushroom lamps and then over here, we've got a little sitting area that you can sit on. The blue sky, it's so pretty. The ground is so pretty here. Her beaches aren't decorated yet. And then we've also got, uh, it looks like a little cafe area to get like coffee and fortune cookies. I really wish the, the game gave us another type of cart that's not fortune cookies. And I also wish that they would like let us change the color of the fortune cookie cart. Cause I think that would be really nice if we were able to do that. I love the attention to detail with like the stuff on the ground and all the custom design patterns. And then over here, oh, there's Norma. Hi, Norma. And Shep, I think, is that Shep? Um, she's got really pretty um, breeded flowers and I'm really bad at trying to breed them because flower breeding is just not my thing. Um, I guess we'll go a new like order of the map instead of like taking shortcuts because that's kind of cheating. Okay, and then we have her little, her town hall. Her town hall doesn't seem to be too too far away from her airport. It's like kind of similar. Her airport is on the far left. And her Red's Beach is right in the middle. That's like the kind of map that I really like. Okay, we have this little sitting area with, I can't, I don't remember what this is called. I think, hmm, I don't remember what it's called. Um, you can tell me in the comments what it's called. And then we've got a little stereo. I love it when people put furniture that belongs inside in the outside to like expand what you can do. And then over here, I think this is Marshall's house. Yeah, it is Marshall's house. Uh, he has a little front yard with like a reading book and a little cup of coffee. Like Marshall's one of my favorite villagers. So I feel like this area, she could totally put like a little library area. Cause he just seems like the kind of squirrel to want to read and like uh, read a book forever, you know? Oh, and then over here we have some really pretty custom design work. So we've got like some brick laid down with like mushrooms and the beautiful river. And then over here we have this great quilted like mismatched picnic blanket. I love it. Um, it looks like she combined separate like area of, um, wow, I'm completely blanking. She combined two separate custom design codes for a picnic blanket. And I really like that idea. I've never seen anyone else do that. We have nice, the New Year's noodles or whatever they're called. <laughs> um, and then back here, I love the little stepping stones. We have, I don't know whose house this is, hold on. This is Shep's house. So we've got this cute little yard. I love the mum cushion. I love how like springy and summery these are. I really think this will look great in the winter as well. Um, and then I guess we're gonna go down here. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> um, over here, whoa, wait, this is cool. So she's got this cute little, it looks like a bug area. Oh, here she is. Hello. Oh, she's so cute. Um, over here we've got, I don't under, I, this could be some sort of like sitting area. I know a lot of people put like little flower markets on their island. And then down here, we've got another adorable villager yard. I love this. Sherb's house. Shep and Sherb sound so similar. <laughs> um, I love the color of the house. It looks great on the beach. And then it's like on the shore, they could be eating with a street lamp. I love the sunflower umbrella. Not sunflower, daisy, sorry. 
I'm bad at flower names. Um, I don't know if- oh yeah, there's stuff up here. Okay. So we've got a cute- uh, this looks like some sort of, like, row of chairs. There's gotta be some sort of reason for this. It could be something unfinished. It kind of looks like it could be a campfire. And then over here we have the first house. Oh, it's a library. Okay. Still got the Christ Christ Christmas wreath. Wow, can't talk. <laughs> um, okay. And then in here. Oh, wow, this is pretty. I love this wall. And then it looks like they... Oh, okay. They put the little bookshelves on the end. And then we've got a cute little sitting area. This is like my dream. I, if I had this recipe for these libraries, I would totally make my house full of this because it's so pretty. I love this. It's almost like dark academia. It reminds me a lot of that, and I love it a lot. It's really pretty. So that's the great. That's a great library, and I like how she didn't fully expand the house because, like, I could totally see her putting all of the rooms in one. Like, she could have a six-room library if she wanted to, but I love how she didn't expand the house and it also saves money <laughs> um and then we've got a little it looks like a little sitting area outside to read books so that's great um over here we have a little bridge i love this bridge okay this is my favorite villager yard um just took a little screenshot <laughs> so we've got this it, uh maybe a possible outdoor kitchen i'm not entirely sure what this is it's really cute whenever it is. <laughs> Honestly, in Animal Crossing, it doesn't have to make sense to be cute. That's what I go by. And this is, again, I don't know whose house this is. I gotta get better at memorizing houses. This is, who, is this Molly's house? No. It's Bia's house. I love Bia. Um, and then we got another one of these cute stepping stones. I love these stepping stones. They look so pretty. It looks like just the plain dirt path that the game comes with. Um, and as well as like some custom design patterns. I'll try to find the custom design codes for these and put them in the description, but I can't promise that, but I'll try. Then we got Molly. I love Molly. She's my favorite villager. Um, I just love her so much. She's so cute. And then we've got a little laundry area. I see a lot of people do laundry areas on their rocks. Um, and I think it's really pretty. Maybe it's not laundry. Oh yeah, it is. And then we've got, um, just a little area with- I love the use of custom patterns. And then bamboo. Um, and yeah, again, some of this stuff is empty. She said it wasn't done. So, don't mind the empty stuff. And then we got a cute little, like, campsite area, it looks like. This is so pretty. Um. Oh yeah, so pretty, so pretty. And then up here we have her- oh, the museum. The, I don't know how to decorate a museum very well, so like whenever I tour my island, you're gonna see just how bad I am at decorating. Um, she did so well, like including the outdoor fossils, because some people didn't know that you could do that. And even some of them you could even like change- um, some of them you can like open their jaw, I think. I think that's the T-Rex you can do that with. And I love how she has like an unplanted coconut sprout just like some really good attention to detail and it's so pretty when you pan up and then we got a little grasshopper cage um and then down here it looks like bug storage so i'll go down this way um oh it's so pretty i love everything about this it's just so i love how minimal it is because some people just go crazy with their decorating okay this is adorable so this is, I want to say, this is Norma's house. I had Norma on my island, actually. She wanted to leave pretty quick, and I actually, she's okay. She's definitely not my favorite. <laughs> um, she did, oh, I like how she did the stunted trees. I think that's, yeah. Um, and then she has this little flower and the f waterfalls. I love how symmetrical it is. Like, some people hate symmetrical islands, but I'm definitely a big fan of them. And I also don't see people use these white ramps as much, so I'm glad she used that. Um, then we got our cute little campsite. This looks like more of a established campsite, maybe? So, like, just a campsite next to, like, um, oh gosh, I don't know what to call this. It's like a little picnic table. There you go, that's the word. Picnic table. Um, we got a little sign directing us to this house. I love how she gives each villager a yard instead of having them all crammed into one place. Um, then up here we have a fruit orchard i had a fruit orchard at one point um i love fruit orchards they're so pretty 
And then over here, this is uh, Tangy's house, I think. Yeah, I'm getting better at it, okay? I promise I'm practicing which one is which. I love the fruit orchard. Oh, and then over here, I see cute little, um, I almost said sauna, hot tub. <laughs> And um, some chairs to like sunbathe on. I love that. I love it when people decorate their rocks. Um, there we go, Shep. And then we've got. Uh, oh, I, I'm so bad at naming houses. Um, it is. Oh my gosh, Dom. That's who it is. I love Dom. Definitely not like a villager that fits my island at all. Um, but she's so cute. Um. And back here, we have Red Secret Beach. I feel like everybody decorates his beach to make it special. Um, over here, this is the bug storage I was talking about earlier. I want to know where that second house is. Because I saw that there was a second village, or a second resident on here. Let me go try to find it. I think it was down here. Oh, here's Abel's. Oh, wait, this is pretty. I love it when they put the... I love it when they put the clothing outside. So pretty. Okay, beautiful. Down here. Oh, more but I love the, the fish storage. I that's iconic to me. Um. Oh, don't run over the flowers. Okay, I need this. I need this recipe. If anybody has this recipe, please give it to me. I love it. We got cute little turtle shells I am completely blanking we've got Lily's house and we've got this director's chair I love the use of furniture that goes inside um I really like this I love the puddles of water because I know beaches aren't 100% dry um I haven't been to a beach in a while and then up here Okay, this is her house. This is such a beautiful house. I'm so bad at making the exterior look bright because, like, no color matches correctly. So, let's see the inside. Okay. The inside is... Oh, wow. This is really pretty. I love how she collected the mom's artwork. And then she put... I love the use of custom design. She's like the queen of custom designs. I love it. Her design slots are probably really filled just like mine. <laughs> um, she's got this cute little sitting area with the pocket camp wagon. Oh, I'm not sure how she got a different color. That's cool. With the mom's candle. So she definitely collects all the stuff her mom gives her. In game, obviously. <laughs> It'd be cool if they gave us like Father's Day stuff. Okay. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> um, this is really cute. I love the bathroom. I love how white it is with the rattan, 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 I don't know. <laughs> um, I love it. It's just so crisp and clean. And people can decorate bathrooms so well. And then I don't even have a bathroom in my house. Because I just don't know how to decorate one. So, she did a good job. For sure. And then in the back room, ooh, we got some sort of kitchen. Oh wait, this is pretty. This is similar to my kitchen. I put my kitchen in the back room and I kind of did a little island with my ironwood table. I love the yellow like crock pot. Is that a crock pot? I don't know. <laughs> um, and I love like the use of, since like they don't really have any like decent countertops in this game, people really get creative with the tables. Um, and I love the flooring. I don't see this flooring that often, so it's really cute. I love it. Okay, and then to the right. I'm guessing this is going to be either a bedroom or an office. Oh, it is an office. Okay, this is cool. Oh, and she's got her little um, villager posters. I have yet to receive one of those because I kick my villagers out too early to get posters from them. Um, she's got a cute little crafting table with like, a security camera. I never see people put home offices in their house, so this is beautiful. I love it. Uh, 
Okay, upstairs. Let me guess this is gonna be the bedroom, <laughs> otherwise it's the basement. Okay, this room is outstanding. Okay, this room is great. I love this room so much. I love that wallpaper. I have no idea where it came from. Not sure what it's called either. She's got more villager posters and she managed to get the bedding to match up perfectly with the wallpaper. I love the flooring and I love the bunk bed. There's just so much of this room that I absolutely love. I love the little wall planters in the light switch too. It's perfect. I am seriously, I love this room so much. Um, I, I wanna make one of my own. I love this wallpaper. If anyone knows what it's called, uh, please let me know what it's called. I wish I could have this in my house cause it's so cute, especially for springtime. I've got Maple, my all-time favorite villager, with some grapes and some coffee. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, the final room, downstairs. Okay, I feel like everybody just has a room in their house to just store stuff, so. Pretty, storage room, not much to say. <laughs> I have the same room in my house, honestly, so. <laughs> okay, and that looks like all of the island has been toured. Again, her, her name is Sam, and her island name is Serenity, so make sure to go check out her dream address. I'll pop it up on the screen. It's also on the bottom, so feel free to screenshot and visit her island whenever you want. She did say that it's not done yet, so it probably will be done in the future. Um, I will post on my community page when it's finished. The island, she'll let me know. So, thank you guys so much for letting me tour this island. Thank you again to Sam for giving me permission to put this out for you guys to see. Your island is so beautiful. I love it so much. I definitely got inspired to make my island look a lot like that since I'm not the best at decorating. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. Um, please make sure to subscribe, comment, like. You can like if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then make sure to join my Discord. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!